Welcome to Hand Tool Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing and comparing several different kind of 4mm bit holders. Today we have six different 4mm bit holders. Some of these use a spring clip, some of these use a magnet. So I'm going to go ahead to start off with, I'm going to go ahead and show you which is which. So here we have the Weha Pico Finish ESD Safe Magnetic 4mm bit holder. This version is made in Germany. Here we have the Weha Non Pico Finish. This is the ESD safe made in Germany non pico finish spring clip uh, 4 mm bit holder. Here we have the Tecton made in Taiwan uh, magnetic 4 mm bit holder. This is part of their higher end precision screwdriver lineup or precision bit holder lineup. Here we have the Weha Xiaomi 24 in 1 4 mm precision bit holder. This also uses a magnet and I believe this one is made in China. Here we have the iFixit. This is from their Mako set this particular ifix at four millimeter bit holder is magnetic and accepts standard four millimeter bits it is made in china and finally we have the tecton this is their lower end version for their precision screwdriver it comes in a set like this as you can see it comes in that smaller set and that set also comes in the every bit set it does use a spring clip it is made in taiwan and it has a spinning cap so Let's go ahead and first take a look at all these different bit holders. So the Weha, as you can see, let's compare the spinning caps. So on the Weha, the spinning cap, it's relatively friction free. So it does spin a little bit uh, freely. There's not too much friction on that. That's good. Let's take a look at this Weha non pico finish. So there's a lot of friction on this cap. Looks like maybe some kind of manufacturing defect, but I can't, I really can't spin that. It's, or if I spin it, it's very short distance. So there's a lot of friction on that. I don't like that. Take a look at the Tecton. And the Tecton, uh, you can spin a little bit. Doesn't really go too far. So there is some friction, but it does spin somewhat freely, but not as much as the Weha Pickle Finish. Here's the Xiaomi Weha. Not too much friction on this either. Does spin uh, freely. Take a look at the iFixit. So on the iFixit, the cap spins probably the most out of all these. So you can see it spins very freely. And let's take a look at this Tecton. So it doesn't really spin very freely. It seems like there's some friction holding it back. In terms of the strength of the magnet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it from the Tecton set or the Weha set or any of these other sets. I'm going to take a random bit, maybe say like a Phillips 2 4 millimeter. So this is a Weha Phillips 2 4 millimeter micro bit. As you can see, this is from the Xiaomi Weha 24 in 1 set for precision screwdriver. So the Phillips 2, let's go ahead and compare the magnet. Very strong magnet on the Weha ESD pickle finish. And this is on the Tecton. Also very strong magnet on this one. Here's the Zami Weha. Magnet seems to be weaker on this one actually a little bit. Slightly weaker, but it still holds it. Now let's take a look at the iFixit. Uh, magnet is about maybe similar or same kind of strength on this one as on the other magnetic versions. Now let's take a look at the spring clip versions. So spring clip versions, they simply just hold it in via clip. So if you can see, use some kind of a ball detent or at least a clip to hold in the, the bits. So I'll just put this in. You can see how it works. It just holds it in like that. So there's no magnetic capability. So it won't pick up bits or anything like that. Whereas if you use it on a magnetic bit holder, it may be able to pick up other bits as well. So let me show you one advantage. If you have it on the actual magnetic bit holder and you have, say, another bit or another kind of metallic object you want to pick up, it does pick it up like this. On a spring clip design, it will not be able to pick it up. It's non-magnetic at all, as you can see. So it won't pick that up. Same thing if you use the Weha. Weha uses a spring clip design. So I'm not a fan of these spring clip design uh, bit holders at all. 
On the Weha, it's very difficult to insert or remove bits. It takes a lot more force, and on some of these bits, it's not easy to grab on with your fingers, so you really have to pull it, and there's no magnetic force. So Now, going back to these bit holders here, in terms of maybe torque or handle diameter, so the Zami Weha doesn't have much, doesn't give you much torque or much of a handle diameter. The sa same with the Weha non pickle finish. I'd say the ones that give you the most kind of torque or handle diameter would be maybe the iFix it because the knurling allows you to hold it. So this is a pretty good one. Uh, Tecton as well, but it, I mean holding it in the hand, it's 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 pretty short. So may not be able to give you as much maybe torque as needed because it doesn't really fit too well in the hand. I mean compared to the iFix, the iFix it fits much better in the hand. As you can see, more of it actually fits in the hand and more of the neural portion fits in the hand. The Tecton magnetic version, uh, it's maybe about a similar kind of size to the actual the Tecton spring clip, the handle diameter is smaller on this, but it does have a narrow portion. And this looks to be some kind of uh, metal, so maybe some kind of aluminum. So uh, this is plastic, this is plastic, this is plastic. This seems to be some kind of metal handle. Uh, that's also metal handle, that's also metal handle. I believe maybe these are maybe some kind of uh, anodized aluminum, possibly. I think the IFX is anodized aluminum. The Tecton may also be some kind of anodized aluminum, and I believe the same with the Zalmi Weha. So three of these use some kind of a plastic handle material. Three of these use kind of anodized uh, aluminum. Going back to these bit holders, the ones that I would probably recommend out of these, I like the Tecton magnetic one. I like the iFix it, and I like the Weha. The Weha Pico finish is about fifteen twenty dollars. Uh, this particular non Pico finish Weha bit holder i believe that only comes in sets and they no longer manufacture these in germany as you can see this one says made in germany they no longer manufacture in germany they have moved these ones the non pickle finish lineup to poland then this one's made in taiwan this is this comes as part of their smaller uh bit set this one comes as part of their bigger which has like a magnetic mat and all these other kind of material this one comes as part of the the weha zami uh, 24 in one or 28 in one so right here comes as part of this one so it comes as part of the Mako set which is this one right here so going back to these bit holders the ones I probably like the most I like the pickle finish I like the tecton magnetic and I like the eye fix it all these other ones uh, I don't like I don't like the spring clip design I don't like the spring clip design on this um, not a fan of this handle either you won't get much torque so out of these I fix it the we hop pickle finish and the Tecton are my favorites. The rest, I probably would not recommend getting these unless you just want to get them from the bits for the bits and then the variety or the selection they have. So to sum it up, to summarize, the Tecton I really like, the Weha pick a finish I really like, Magnus Strength is good, and the iFix it. And all out of these three, they fit really nicely in the hand. This one doesn't give you much torque even though it fits nicely in the hand. This one's a little bit small. And this one, I don't like this because it's spring clip design, but it does uh, give you a decent amount of torque. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave a comment down below. Thank you.